from ChatGPT. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a night of wonder, excitement, and hilarity. Tonight, we're proud to present the opening act for the incredible show, Great Night, with hosts Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Our opening act is one of the most unique and talented performers in the business. With a blend of magic, comedy, and incredible feats of skill, he's sure to amaze and astound you. From death-defying escapes to mind-bending illusions, he's got it all. So get ready to witness the impossible and experience the unforgettable. Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Justin Robert Young and Brian Brushwood. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Stomp on it. Stomp on it. Give it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Stomp on it. Now it's stuck to your foot. Now stomp on it. Give it that I, I literally couldn't give it stop stomp. stomping if I... Oh, damn. I'm stomping. Oh, I swear. I, I double dog dare you to keep that stomping all night long. Oh, I'm going to stomp it. You're the stomp. All oh, night long. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear stomp. it for your stomp boss, Woo! Justin Robert Young. Woo! Yeah, they call me the stomp boss. Woo! And when I stomp, I go, yeah. That's my catchphrase. I was going down, and my wife told me, you need to get a new pair of shorts. And I went, yeah. And I stepped on the shorts. I didn't like them. We've all been there. I'm the stomp boss. Playing nightly everywhere. I'm a universal construct. I'm no. the stomp boss. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. How do you play everywhere? Is it like by video or? My my comedy uh, podcast co-host said, hey, how do you play everywhere? And I looked him right dead in the eye and I went, yeah. Stomped him. Stomped him. Um, Man, I'm just saying, when you're stomping like I stomp, there's only one word to describe it. What's that? Stomp bossing. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I, that does make more sense. Uh, so how did you get your da, Discovery da, da, original da, 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 series? Da, 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 da. The Discovery original series? Oh, yeah. Stump Boss. Everybody Stump knows. Boss? Oh, yeah. Everybody's uh, like, uh, I mean, <laughs> you think that phrase wrote itself? No. No, yeah. It was written by the finest yeah. in the business. I, I, I was there when they were shooting it. Yeah. And, you were alone in a room. I the was. original title of the show was called Just a Robert y Young Alone in a Room. And yeah. you're like, and, and you just threw out there like, I don't know, maybe call it Just a Robert, Robert Young. Young colon stomp, stomp, stomp boss. boss. Yeah. And then they were like, well, I don't know if that. I don't know if that'll clear Democrat. legal. And then and then you you said what? I said, hey, look. Oh, he's fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's a simple <laughs> bit. Uh, it's a it's a bit. I, I mean, at that? least we're equal. No, we, yeah. we, we both missed it. Look, it's well, fine. Least, it's yeah, fine. we're on the same page, which is not being on the same page. Holy no, that's, moly. Uh, <laughs> that's good to know. At least one of us was on the continent all goddamn week. Uh, hey, Bryce, what's our first story? Parody song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want me to do a bit that you said you would do in the green room and then didn't do in the green room? So that... <laughs> Just to be clear. That was way funnier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> if you don't listen, I don't know how many people listen to the show and don't listen some, to the some green people room. Some have to skip the green room, I assume. I, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how many people do it. I don't know what everybody's pattern is. But we had this idea in the pre-show. And by we, I mean Brian, who was already laughing uncontrollably at parody songs that he was writing on Chat GPT. Okay, uh, first of all, be thankful because I'm holding back the good bit, which is Chat GPT also writes incredible diss tracks. <laughs> like, whatever. It doesn't it's, sound like you're holding that back, actually. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, I'm not doing Brian's one. laughing uncontrollably at Chat GPT. So then we usually go to this bar, we have a pre show drink, we get in the vibe. No vibes. No vibes. Just no vibes. Brian looking at his phone, apropos of nothing. At a certain point, he's so into it that he's not even reading the parody songs that it's based on. I'm just he's just laughing so yeah. fucking hard and muttering lyrics, <laughs> just like like like. <laughs> 
Meatball man, he's the man who's the meatball king. Meatball sing, meatball man. <laughs> this uncontrollable, uncontrollable. I, I am uncomfortable with how accurate all of this is. And then periodically, Brett and I just amuse ourselves. Brian's silent. You think maybe Brian's gonna come back to the conversation? No, nope. it's mattress man. He sings mattress songs, mattress. I don't even know what fucking song it is. I have no idea what song he's singing to. And then periodically I'm like, Brian, what song is that? Oh, Nightmare on Your Street. <laughs> By the Fresh Prince. By the Fresh yeah, Prince. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. So then we're on the way back. Yeah. Brett and I are talking. Yes. <laughs> Apropos of nothing. Oh. Brian. Canyon man, he's the canyon. Uh, I think it was all to Dancing Queen. I think every song I've, was sung. So if you if you have Dancing not listened Queen. to the pre-show, knowing because if there's one thing that I think you can trust me is that I know, I know my teammate. Yep. yep. I know that when when no. you get that you, locked into something, you knew that there was no stopping this pit bull from from <laughs> no. clamping its jaw and so, on a thing. So my choices were, yeah, either. I could attempt to do another show and then get frustrated at Brian because he's going to keep looking at his phone and singing Mattress Man. Or <laughs> he loves Mattress Man. He fucking loves it. Or we can just do this bit. And it, at the very least, I would know that Brian is having the best time possible. There, there was this moment where I realized that you were doing the thing where a dad punishes his child by saying, you're going to smoke the whole carton. The whole yes. carton. And there was also part of me that literally like, said that at the beginning. Well, and there was also part of me that was like, awesome. Yes. <laughs> I get to smoke all these cigarettes. Yes. Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, I'm thankful for you as a comedy partner. So uh, now. Having said that. Is there any parody songs that you had generated by chat GPT that you've been sitting on this entire time that maybe you want to explore live in the A block of our comedy show? Bryce. Yes. Can you please cue up a karaoke track of We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel? Is, is there believe anything I can do that we should you. know about this going in? I think this one is pretty clear. Okay. All right. The parody well, the, is pretty the, clear. The game is figure figure out what, what we're missing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. From one William Joel. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Finally. And now this is the key of G. Okay. Good. G. Oh. Oh. Well. Here we go. And we're live in. Yeah, there's a big intro. There's yeah. just a big intro of this one. Yeah. Well, I didn't say when we're live in. I just yeah. said we're live in. Here we go. That's a good way to like kind of split the difference. Here we go. Gouda, cheddar, brie, and feta, provolone, Swiss mozzarella, Havarti, Rogue, Colby, Grim, American beverage, and Parmigiano. Oh, the types of cheese, there's so many, and the mild and the sharp and tangy. There's a flavor for each taste bud. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. Mascarpone, regatta, Monterey, blue cheese, Monster Fun, Ada, Clever, Consola, Adam, Chevrolet, Asiago. There's the types of cheeses, there's so many. Mild and sharp, tangy, there's a flavor for every taste, but the most soft and spreadable. Others are crumbly and delicious. Some are aged and complex. And there's others that are just cheesy bliss. Oh, the types of cheese, there's so many mild to sharp, and the tangy have flavor every taste. But when you're feeling cheesy and you want a tasty treat, just remember all the options and pick one. Yeah, that can't be beat. So that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Now that's a great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's still on his foot. <laughs> that moment, <laughs> the moment you realize that the paper is still stuck to your foot. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's so good. Uh, Bryce, what's the next story? Our next topic. Justin met a dolphin. Oh shit. Oh damn. I uh, went 
to the Bahamas. Why? For birthday reasons, not my birthday, but other people's birthday. Our friend Darren turned 40, and so we all went to the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas. All right. Have you, have you ever been to Nassau, Bahama? Uh, I have not, but I do feel like if I had both a hat, a uniform, a clipboard, and a pen, I would be clicking the pen on the clipboard and asking, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You be exactly why. I think I've got uh, the photo. Was it on your oh, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, So, I mean, here's all I would say is that if you are ever in a situation where you are in a resort in the Bahamas and you have booked a dip and sit visit with a dolphin and somebody asks you if you're a god you funny say, you should mention that really if you in your brain internally you ask yourself the following question should i take this edible <laughs> The answer is, and I believe it's. Uh, well, I've uh, only. Yeah, the answer is, hi -ya! <laughs> But an opposite hi -ya where the edible goes in your mouth. Hi -ya, hi. Uh, so, yeah, I had it. I, I was like, I don't know, but this is a good time. It'll be more magical if I'm high with this dolphin than, than otherwise. Now, you you have a different relationship uh, both you and bryce uh, if i could just out everybody publicly uh, 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 drug users. <laughs> uh have a different oh, relationship with edibles than i do it, it's like it's 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 too much nothing and then it's a lot and it's forever um well i mean yeah that's that's that, that that's a dosage issue you would usually want to find edible wise Hi, welcome to the annoying person at the party. It's me, your friend, your friend's cousin. Uh, <laughs> With his catchphrase. Hi, yeah. Thank uh, you. <laughs> so uh, that would be a dosage thing. You, you, you need to find the dosage, even if it's very, very low, where it just kind of feels like a little bunny slope, and then you would want to step it up. So it's like if, if you're in that situation where you're like, oh, my God, it, it, at, at a certain point it becomes overwhelming and I have to survive it, then you're probably at too high a dosage, and and you should step it down. And and on top of all of that, there's the uh, the fact that no, no two craftsmen seem to make the exact same dose. No, they they should. The, you should it's, be better able to now. scientifically know that X amount is X amount. Yeah. Uh, no matter who is is making it, it's just a matter of what that number is for you. It, it's like booze. It's like yes, the the booze in a beer is different than the booze in a whiskey. Right. Also, you should be able to know what gets you drunk with either. So uh, I guess along those regards, like uh, if somebody shows up with an edible, like uh, homemade brownies or whatever, it would that, be the, that's the, the wild fucking exactly. West. That yes. would be the equivalent of somebody showing up with a, I don't know, I brewed this at home. It's Which, like, and we've all home? known. Yeah. And if there's yeah. one thing more, more into their own shit than your friend's cousin, the weed guy, it's the homebrew guy mm -hmm. and the homebrew guy. Boy, if your friend has become a homebrew guy, just understand you need one quarter of the first seven batches of anything that they make. Right. Because the first thing that everybody makes when they get into homebrew is an IPA because they need to keep adding shit to make it taste tolerable. And that means that it's insanely fucking alcoholic. So while you're in international waters yeah. about to encounter another mammal that used to live on land but now swims in the ocean, you decide now's a good time to do how much? Uh, uh not a lot. Just a just a little five milligram to like, oh, just a little fiber. Just just a little fiber. Just a little fiber. Just, just a little Abe. Just a little Abe Lincoln. Little Abe Lincoln. Sorry. Yeah, just okay. fucking you know, right. give me a little wink. <laughs> And then uh, we head on down. We go see the dolphin, and and I feel like this picture sums up how happy I was to be just. <laughs> you were into this. And I was really happy. into it. See? I was like, it's like me and my tree. buddy, me and my buddy, the dolphin. They're like, yeah. they go and take Dolph pictures. Dolphin seems cool about it too. He but seemed kind of sad. I, I, he that, does look really sad, he actually. He looks really sad. Oh, look at the eye. Looks, oh. I know. He looks oh like God. a celebrity who's done this for the billionth time. He looks like 
like Dragon like, Con yeah. pictures. Yeah, yeah. like this, Lou Ferrigno. This, this is this Lou is the Lou Ferrigno of dolphins. dolphins. This yeah. dolphin. Yeah. This dolphin's had a little bit of Botox. He's like he's like leaning it. into pretending to be deaf. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 he's uh, that's uh, a sad dolphin now that I, see I know, it. yeah. Well, that's why I wrote on Instagram my thing was, We're having a great time because I, I just like I just wanted everybody to know that we were. I felt the energy, I, I couldn't see because of where I was and where dolphins' eyes are. I couldn't see how sad he was, <laughs> otherwise, I would have played into the bit. But uh, uh, no, I was just Hold thrilled. On. If you had it to read you, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be the dolphin, yeah. Here. Be the uh, dolphin. If you be had it to, to, to redo, how would you do? Like knowing that it's a sad dolphin. All right, no, just give me, just like, give me a couple looks. Okay. And just, and just, and just announce what, what, what they are. And I'm not looking, and I'll just give you my reaction. Here we go again. Okay. Sure. Okay, uh, Bryce, you have to narrate. Oh this. yeah, yeah. Okay, so Justin's got fists up to his eye, like he's bawling his eyes out, and then. Brian is making it making like the gym from the office say it's like mm, okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Mm. Wait. Mm. I, I didn't think that was what I was going oh, for. Oh, oh, try it again, try it again. No, try it again, try it again. We figure it out. We figure it out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me give me another. Oh, one. yeah, yeah. That's uh the DreamWorks face in the third act when the bad when the sad thing happens. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, he's doing the bear face. He's doing the bear face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Justin's got the fi oh yeah, the chin on the fist. That's a good one, and he's kind of pounding. This is what I like to call 1985 to 1995 NBC sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> he's Beardy and the Dolls. Yep, <laughs> Beardy and the Dolls. Yeah. Dolph. Dolph Lundgren voices right. the Dolphin Mike, Mike for Cousin one episode. Lundgren is doing great. So here's the thing about Atlantis. Yeah, they shut it's down their underwater. pools at five o'clock. What p.m. PM. The fuck? Yeah. Uh, so Atlanta. they have a water park. They have a water park with awesome water slides. They shut the nine pools they have and the awesome water park down promptly at five. They chase you fucking right away. Is there gambling or? Oh, there's gambling, Jerry. <laughs> oh, got it. So, so that's and if you're like, hey, but at stop the same splash and start smashing at the same time. Are they aware that Vegas exists where you can do everything at all times? I mean, there's, and, 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 and people Vegas still there? gamble all the time. Gambling is its own lore. Justin. Yeah. Name one football event that happened this weekend. The Super Bowl. Okay. Get out of the pool. <laughs> I'm going to need you to report to, to report to the sports right. book immediately. And go bet on the Super Bowl. Yeah. Or or bet on the ads, or bet on the coin flip, or yeah. bet on like like uh, ESPN was so desperate they were like uh, sixty percent agree tails is gonna win. Yeah, well yeah because because all their sponsors are are fucking sports books. Oh yeah, you know apparently it was a big upset. Uh, well, yeah, you want to know what? Let's go to our next topic. Our topic. next topic. Oh no, our next. To oh no, <laughs> nobody knows. No one knows us. Uh, yeah, everybody doesn't know what the next topic is. Oh, okay. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the Super Bowl. All right, uh, Bryce, I'm going to give you uh, 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 the, the, the run pass option here since we're doing football theme. Uh, uh, did you get a sounder? Uh, did I get a sounder, Justin? Yeah. Did I get a sounder, Justin? Justin, did I get a sounder? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So that's a no. So uh, 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 we're going to have a sounder because Brian is going to now list everything he knows about the Super Bowl that just happened. So I presume that we are leading into this by saying that you did not watch it. Uh, correct. Yes. Because you never know. Every once in a while, you randomly get into sporting events like you did the World Series. Not, not randomly. This no. Not this one. No. Okay. So... Uh, so okay. here we go. Every time that Brian names a thing, this sound will play. And I will go, hiya! <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Justin, this was one heck of a Super Bowl between the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah! And the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, yeah! Okay. Uh, with a stunning halftime by a duo Rihanna and her baby oh ah, 
like it's I a mean, maybe one and a half. I don't know how far along she is. Well, She's pretty far along, Justin. What? Well, okay, pregnancy es- expert Bryce Neshkom Castillo. Don't ask me how I know that. I mean, it depends on what state you're in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, boy, oh boy, yeah! boy, oh boy. I remember where I was when that punt was returned 64 or 65 yards. Do you? I, I, I don't even really remember that. Okay. It contributed to a four touchdown game. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> in which. You're... You're getting uh, very specific. In which the Eagles won. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> in which the Chiefs won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hooray, Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> um. My what, fa- what, what about some of the commercials? What about some of the oh commercials? Oh my gosh, so many commercials. Yeah. What about some of those commercials? Big, uh, big deal. Big money commercials. Yeah. Uh. There. There. What was your favorite? The Maya Rudolph one, yeah, uh, in which she renounced being the new M and M's person. Yeah, really? Well, she. But there was a, uh, it was like a, 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 a she fucked up because she made M and M's clam shaped and clam flavored, and then there was another one where they're like, "We're bringing the smokes candies back." All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh Another ad that was great was mm, yeah. Hmm? Oh fuck! <laughs> you can just make something up. I, Comedy. I, I, I mean, I, no, oh, no, 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 no! I, you I, I know, shut up! I know, I know one you of them. shut up! He's not allowed to make anything up. This is the bit. This is not comedy anymore. This is a documentary. The uh, the, the one with uh, Ben Affleck, Batman. Yeah. Who was giving out? Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah! Okay. Why why was his wife there? Well, you you were you gotta you gotta remember there, there you might be conflating two things. Because oh, there was another he was, oh, sorry. Also, the Flash, who definitely, according to his lawyers, shouldn't be held accountable for beating up people at a bar. Yeah! <laughs> uh is in a cross-dimensional universe in which uh uh only of all the Batman, Ben Affleck and uh, uh, Michael Keaton. Well, I don't. Sh- think, I don't think Ben Affleck's in the. Tr- oh no, he is in the. Tr- he is yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which only those two. I can't think of any other Batman that would be amazing for them to show up in that show. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the um, uh, no bitcoins. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, the. Uh, Uh oh. Oh. No, that's fine. You got it. That's fine. Don't you got it. We'll stay on target. Stay on target. Everybody shut up. Sorry. Um you got this one. Got this. Come on, man. The number two. Uh, the number two. <laughs> number two. Uh, b- 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 ah! uh the breaking bad thing that they showed like wait like a week beforehand. Four chips. Yeah! There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Um what about what about there was there was a big celebrity got a big long commercial? Oh yeah, I remember that. The big, I mean, the biggest celebrity of all time, the yeah. most famous celebrity of all time. Well, they didn't let him talk before beforehand, but uh, uh, shouts out to Joseph Robinette Biden. Jr. Oh, bigger, 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 the biggest, the biggest name, incredible. biggest name on earth. Dwayne the Rock Hulk. Mm-mm-mm. No. Bigger? JC. Hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Let, let me guess the campaign. Wait, was it the He Gets Us campaign? Yeah! There it is! Ah! It featured one kid standing on another kid peeing into a urinal. That was, that was, that was... They're selling Jesus by showing two kids, one kid standing on another kid hey, peeing into a urinal. When, when one kid was getting buffed and the other one was 
Given the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, anything else? Anything else that you know from the Super Bowl? <laughs> did, did Rihanna, like, announce, like, a tour schedule for her baby or anything? Or or, or even that she, she was had on another album? She was a very album? crazy high platform for something that was was uh, 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 put up in five minutes. So, so what, what did she, I mean, I, I, I know she, like, opened up her puffy jacket, right? I, I don't I think yeah it was it was it was like in the process of her singing yeah but but uh, uh well I mean there was that first that first big song that she sang oh my god that oh that where iconic were you iconic yes. first song you know because legendarily she was supposed to play the Super Bowl many years ago and didn't because there was a dispute on the fee yeah. that she would get paid yes yes um. She's had so she opened a lot up of this. Hits. She opened up this Super Bowl performance with her hit song, "Bitch." What? The song that she opened up with, <clears throat> "Bitch." <laughs> I mean, are you calling me? Um... No, we're working on this together. Right? Okay. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> so, just stop. <laughs> No, it's not bitch, just stop. <laughs> bitch, keep bitch, going. Uh, bitch, better. Not. Bit, uh, bit better should. Better. Okay. <clears throat> I, I, uh, yeah. All right, I'm getting an impression. <laughs> it's, uh, bitch, bitch, better. better. <sighs> yeah. ha, 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 have my money. Hey! Uh, oh, we're ending, uh, there. Oh, we're ending okay. there. We're yeah. ending okay. there. All right, all right. We're done with the yeah. Super Bowl. Uh, uh, congratulations <laughs> to the Eagles. You almost made it. They did. There was actually a controversy. Although, although like, all I saw was on Reddit, <laughs> like, Eagles fans, before the Super Bowl even started, <laughs> them just turning over cars and stuff. Yeah, they, they have zero chill. Yeah. Philadelphia is a lawless town. Yeah. Filled with, they're like, they're America's Australia. <laughs> they're they're a prison colony of a town. Oh, that's Florida. Can, uh, re- no, that's America's Russia. Five, five Rihanna songs, just real quick, and I'll tell you if I've heard of any of them. Uh, wild nope. thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. Nope. Wow, wow, wow thoughts. Oh, you know what? Now that you say it, nope. When I'm with you, I'll be having wild thoughts. Hold on. Wow, wow, wow. Did you phrase it that way? Wow, wow, wow. Nope. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> nope. Let, let me ask. Nope, 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 nope. All right, all right. How about yep. this one? Um, uh, you're going to make me feel like oh. I'm the only girl in the world. Like I'm the only one. Like that one? Yeah. Only girl in the world. Nope. That's the same song. <laughs> That's not the same song. <laughs> As a, no, 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 you're no. I'm saying you were continuing that oh, second yeah, yeah, one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about upon the replay? Mr. DJ, won't you turn the music up? Upon the replay. Brett knows this one. I do not know this song. You don't know that one? No. What? How about under my umbrella, Ella, Ella? That one. Eh, under my umbrella. Eh, 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 eh. How about that one? Made famous by Tom uh Petty. No. <laughs> it's Spider-Man. <York. laughs> Spider-Man. I'm York. Tom Holland? Tom, yeah. Holland. Tom Thomas. Yeah, no, he does the thing. Everybody always retweets it. He did like a a a, a lip sync know what lip sync it, battle. He did yeah, a media. I don't even know what the a fucking appropriate way to say. The style for which he performed that I would... He did it pretty gay. I, no, well, I wouldn't even say gay. Oh, Jesus, okay. no. <laughs> it was I wouldn't gay. say gay. No, I, I, it, it was I a term that all growing up, I would say cross. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He, was, he was wearing a woman's outfit and he the high heels. He was wearing a woman's and, outfit. And he was and killing it. And yeah. he killed it. It's all right. Cross played. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was all right. He was all right. 
Okay. Three. Uh, how about uh, 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 how about? Wait, did you know Umbrella? Oh, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how about uh, uh, all of the lights? Do 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 all of the lights, oh, all of oh, the lights. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. How about uh, 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 who going to run this town tonight? Hey, it's the president. Hey, you know this part. Hey, 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 who, who gone? Everybody knows that. Hooray, it's the mayor. He's a doubt today. <laughs> Tonight, everybody knows that he's in town tonight. Yeah, tonight, 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 tonight. Rudy Giuliani, he's number one. Oh. Everybody, stand up. Let's have some fun. Oh. He was the oh. mayor of 9 11. Yeah, everybody knows it rhymes with seven. Everybody, get up out of your seats. I've got a baby, my feet's a neat. Take a look at my feet. <laughs> everybody, go to rihanna.com slash org. Beep, beep. This is my favorite <laughs> Kanye verse. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you knew it. <laughs> he's double. He's already done. Oh, is he there did any art? He's yeah. set for the next 15 minutes. He doesn't need any more jokes. Is there any? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know any Rihanna songs? Is that what we're getting at? Really about know. SOS or? <laughs> I, 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 no, Disturbia? Yeah, no. S and M, right? Oh, S and M, yeah. S S S S M M M. That was like there was a period in the 2000s where every pop song was a T-shirt you would buy at Spencer's. Well, it, and that was one of them where it was just like uh, 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 sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains excite me. It was like the uh, uh, the fucking shit that you would just buy at a T-shirt at Spencer's, yeah. but it was a fucking like huge pop song. Sure. Uh, so so I I. Was she sampled quite a bit in rap songs? In no, she was just on rap songs. So like she was like, she legit has like the reason why it was she was perfect to play the Super Bowl. She's got like fifteen hits that were like big radio smashes. Like she is name seven more. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, do we have another topic? We got one more topic. Uh, vitamin balloon. <laughs> I don't remember this topic, but I know I wrote it down. We're talking about balloons. Yeah. Balloon. Oh, the balloon stuff in the news. The yeah. balloons. Yeah. Oh, God. We have to. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we're doing good. We're <laughs> talking about, we talk about the fucking news. We <laughs> talk about balloons. For the first time ever. <laughs> Motherfuckers UFOs. out here want to be talking about balloons. I don't even know if the other ones were balloons. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, there was one here. Chinese spy balloon, and I was upset. Because when I covered it on PX3, I couldn't find a Mandarin cover of 99 Luft Balloons. Probably because their version was Hooray. <laughs> hooray? Yep. Yeah, Hooray. There are nuclear bombs raining down um, upon the Cold War. Yeah. Anyway, well, they didn't sing the song, or at least it wasn't on YouTube. Right. Uh, uh, but yeah, so there's a Chinese spy balloon. We shot it down. And then there were more things being shot down. Yes. Uh, we don't know about it, and no one's talking about it, except these ones might not be Chinese. But the president definitely balloons. ordered... Yeah, they might not be balloons. They might just be octagons. Yeah, objects. Octagonal objects. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like the U.S. government, it would be in their best interests to only talk about them being Chinese balloons when... Mm, they need to get people jingoistic and excited for America. And the rest of the time, just just let everyone believe Well, they're... China definitely said the first one was from China. They just didn't say it was from their government. Right. They're they like, this they is a, totally a civilian balloon. unrelated right. civilian balloon that totally accidentally got blown off course and happened to be hovering over a nuclear facility I did, in Montana. Uh, I did this, see... We've <laughs> all been there. Yep. I did see something where some U.S. official was like, uh, I mean, it's not like we could ever put a balloon over China. I mean, what are we going to do? Korea? It would go the wrong way. 
Japan, it would go the wrong way. Uh, Malaysia, it would go the wrong way. There's literally nowhere else we could launch a balloon that would maybe, uh, except for Eastern Europe. Never mind. Anyway, U.S. definitely sends balloons. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, who invented the balloon? Can we look up information French on balloons? Guy. I think it was a French guy, right? Did a French motherfucker invent a balloon? Was it Jean Pierre Balloon? Ballon. That'd be so. That'd be so French. It's it's weird. All right, all right before before. Okay, so nobody knows the answer. answer to this, right? Yeah. Nobody knows the answer. Brett, who invented the balloon? It's a. Don't a, you don't you look at the chat. I'm not looking at the chat. Don't look at the chat. It is a. Don't you it, do it, Brett? It was in the 1800s. Don't you you, do you do put it. your shirt right back I'm on. Close your it. eyes. Don't close you your do eyes. It. Don't you do close it. Close your right? eyes. Was, you close your eyes too, because you'll look at the chat too. Yeah, yeah. His name was William Ballon. Okay. And also known as Billy Balloon. <laughs> and he liked the color red. I think he was playing at the uh, Bahamian Resort I was at. <laughs> Billy, Billy Balloon. Billy Balloon was on the steel drums during dinner. <laughs> he said, would you like some weed? So, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> right in a criminal pass for Billy that's Balloon. Right, Billy Balloon. Yeah, that's what he was trying to get drugs. Where is he Before from, him. Billy Balloon? He's from France. France, Brian. No. Oh. Oh. No. Billy Balloon was from uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. Originally, he weird? tried to invent When a I grew up in Amsterdam, I said, I need to get out of here in a balloon. He said, I will make a bicycle. And next thing you know, he made a balloon <laughs> instead. He said, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a bicycle. It floated away, and World War I started. The Great War. The, the war Dutch. to end all wars. Oh, my only Dutch impression is angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Billy Balloon, the angry Dutchman. Which is weird because you would think they would all be high. They fucking don't like weed. What? Amsterdam people. What about it's a heroin? tourist trap? What? Yeah. Yeah. All the all the oh, they know that you're not from there if you're smoking weed. How? Because they don't like it. Because you go to the coffee shop, but it's the coffee shop that starts with a K, not a C. Yeah. All That's right. The difference. Uh Bryce. How right am I? Uh, well, mm. who invented the balloon? Uh, the that's event why people listen to this show yeah. to get to get information. Get Welcome to B Talk. Life. Get Sorry. facts. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that mostly I write informational games for this show. Uh, the first <laughs> modern rubber balloons on record were made by Michael Faraday in 1824. Yes, that Faraday, including of the Faraday cage and Faraday effect. Huh. Wait, so wait, Faraday. where where was he from? Oh, he's from sure. Newington Butts, England. Uh, I mean, thank you. Oh, I'm going to invent the balloon, innit? <laughs> Oi! It's I great hope to Sherlock be Holmes butts. doesn't figure me out. <laughs> <laughs> me and my wireless waves. All right, here we go. Uh, Patreon.com slash Great Night is where you can support this very program. Yeah. Billy Balloon says hello is yeah. what you need to write into the offer code field when yep. you go to patreon.com slash crate night. Uh, last week, I, I don't think you took me very seriously. Like, I'm, I'm about to fuck shit up. I'm about to give people. I think I think the green room has shown how serious Brian is. <laughs> he means it when he wants to stick to something. He means it. Yeah, yep. he'll pull the trigger. Yep. I'm 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 about to give you guys half of the behind the curtain stuff for free. What? Yeah. What? Half? No. The only way to stop it is to go to patreoncom slash night and support us. So you're gonna people already pay for it. Yeah. And you're going to give half of what they pay for exclusively away. Yep. Unless what? Un unless more people pay for it. So what's the threshold of more? Define more. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> more is a lot. Uh, I mean, it's mo more than we got now. Okay, so one more than we have now. Uh, I didn't say. I mean, let's. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's excited. You got him. This is kind of complicated. Uh, let me just say that. Because I know you're serious. And by the way, we've oh, got, yeah. no, we've got totally a comment. Serious. We've got a comment saying, "I don't think. Uh, I don't think that thread is quite as." 
quite the threat. Oh, you haven't experienced it because yeah. this is an infection that is ruining all podcasts. Yes. All these motherfucking podcasts giving away half episodes that belong behind the curtain, only they're giving away for fucking free. I hate it. It's the worst thing ever. And I'm going to do it. Unless more of you join us at patreon.com slash great night. Unless one more person joins us. Yeah, tw- yep. Uh, t- uh, t- 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 one more. Tw- yep. One. Yes. One. One. Yeah. Uh, f- 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 one. <laughs> Fifty one. Fifty one. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm one people. agreeing with you. You you said one and I'm saying say, uh, one. Because you want to make it more. No, no, no. You I, really want to do this. You want to give away half the half the bone. No, no. no. I, why do you want to give away half the bones? Why now, do people give now, away now, crack for now fucking I, free? Because now I'm fucking, serious. It's, now, it's, now, I didn't take you serious before. Oh, yeah. Before I was laughing and joking. Oh, no. Slapping I my knee so hard, my goddamn uh, thigh was bleeding. Hi-ya. The stomp stuff. Hi-ya! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now I'm going to take you seriously. So yeah. why do you want to do it? <sighs> Because not enough people are addicted to this show. And you really want to show off the bones. I feel like that's... that's All I know is that the bones are good. They're really, really good. We got and good bones. Right? It's good bones. We got good bones in there. So whatever. It's like crack. Just give it a little bit away for free. What's the problem? Name one thing that crack ever did to anybody. <laughs> Come on, Justin. Name one thing. Name one thing. One thing. I mean, name one thing. Got, you can't. Mar- you got, got Marion Barry and Rob Ford elected mayor. <laughs> yeah, <well>. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's a pretty good mayor deal. Mayor jokes. Mayor jokes. Had to pick two people so it wasn't racially motivated. Mayor <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, I'm serious. I'm about to give this half of this away for free unless. Unless at least one person, one person yeah. signs wow. up. One. Like, uh, hooray. All right. Apropos of nothing. Okay. How many people do you think are casual, professional, functional crack smokers? In this room? <laughs> sure. I refuse to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> do you plead the fifth? I mean... I'm not gonna say why. I just I, <laughs> I know my right. Uh, am I being detained? <laughs> Bryce, do we have a game? Hey, we do have a game, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, I want to give a few shout outs for this one, including the folks over at the Game Night, the Diamond Club Game Night community, and uh, B. Coford, who sent this along. I got a new game for you. It's called George or Gilmore. George, George or, or Gilmore. Gilmore. George or Gilmore. Uh, uh, B. Coford and the... Rolls the, off the tongue. It's yeah. And it's just so easy. Former mayor? Uh, so they figured this out. They had some ideas while they were playing Fibbage 4, and I used that as some inspiration. So I'm going to give you a fact uh, about uh, some fictional characters or a, uh, a false claim about a real person. You're going to have to tell me if I'm telling you a false claim about Republican Representative George Santos. Oh, <laughs> or real claims about fictional uh, characters from the TV dramedy Gilmore Girls. Oh! I, I, would like, I would like to point out that at least one person in our studio audience full on clasped his hands together mm-hmm. and was George. very excited uh, as he Stars figured out what Hollow was going Stars Hollow stands. <laughs> <laughs> this is your night. I mean, I mean, happy uh, Valentine's one, Day. One's an actual member of Congress. <laughs> yeah. The other is a fictitious show. A fictitious. fictitious you're watching a fictitious show. Sometimes you gotta slap her around. I'll play your gang, Mr. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gilmore Girls was what on the CW? Oh, WB? Sure. Yeah, WB, UPN? I believe, and then and then CW yeah. as it merged. Okay, merged. it was about, of course. Uh, it was about uh, uh, a mother and daughter, uh, Lorelai and Rory. Uh, who what lived in a uh, fictitious town, I what believe, in New England. Uh, and uh, they had a very uh, uh, overbearing mother or mother and grandmother. And there was a bunch of colorful locals that were overwritten by the husband and wife writing team. Yes. American feta cheese. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
No, I had uh, 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 my roommates after college were obsessed with the Gilmore Girls, so I wound up watching a lot of Gilmore Girls, and uh, I dated a girl in college whose nickname was Rory because she looked a lot like the character in the show. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm at a bit of a disadvantage, but I'm ready. I also thought that this would be a little more balanced like this. I knew nope. That, I Turns knew... out I know the most about both these things, yeah. and I'm going to be unrepentant in my fucking dominance of this game. I've held that <laughs> secret until right now. I mean, seems Eat like... shit, people! He tamped it down, man. <laughs> Bryce, I ain't gonna lie. It looks like... Justin has all of the advantages yep. right now. It would be really fucking embarrassing if I lost this game, which <laughs> won't happen. That's right. So it seems like maybe he wants to put some money on it. Much like the three-act structure of a Gilmore Girls episode, <laughs> this is not foreshadowing. Uh, you know what? I, Ryan, are you I, re are you I rescind my offer. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to give you a claim. You're going to tell me if it was Gilmore, if it was someone from the show Gilmore more girls uh or george if you believe it is uh representative george santos got you you're both everyone's gonna Brett, would you like to play uh, no. you, you, you know what will, will you be my advisor because i, I feel like the guy i am not the that's guy. exactly why you should do that thank you Brett. Okay. <laughs> all, all right, right. Uh, we're gonna start with this one brian we're gonna start with you on this oh thank goodness no example round here's the claim was accepted to harvard princeton and yale was this George Santos or a character or one from of the Gilmore characters Girls? from it's Gilmore Girls? Be. It's 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 so outrageous. It's got to be uh, George Santos. You say that it is a uh, George Justin. What did you say? Uh, yeah, I believe that is the Gilmore Girls. It was one of the. It was it was either the mother or the daughter, but I, I believe that like because uh, you got to remember this is like a feet liberal like fantasy shit. So yeah. It's Gilmore Girls. So, uh, uh, by the way, just to clear things up, Bryce, uh, you're not going to pull like a, a it was both or something. Uh, uh, no, I okay. no. All right. Yeah. And also, that's not where he lied about going to college. Oh. Hey, yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. We were looking for Rory Gilmore. Uh, 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 All right, uh, so we know how the game is played. Uh, That's the point for Justin. Uh, 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 I'll do when better. The Gilmore Girls dance. Are, are we going to end this game the, with the, like, the episodes the where the husband like... wrote them was the worst? It's a dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're starting with you in this Reading one. television without pity recaps in 2007. <laughs> dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, we're starting with you on this one. The claim. It's so much less bad about reading auto bot <laughs> generated parody lyrics justin the claim ran a real estate portfolio of 13 properties uh, is that george santos or one of the members of gilmore Girl? well i believe in stars hollow there are only just kidding it was george santos <laughs> okay you're gonna say george just uh brian uh agree i mean come on yeah all right uh everyone just said come on to this one <laughs> That we were looking for George Santos. Yeah, that's right. And the funniest thing about that is that not only didn't he run any fucking properties, but he was a derelict tenant. Yep. Yeah, he he wrote he, many <laughs> bad checks. He still owes money to this day to his landlord. It's like, because like, he forgot. Yeah. Come yeah. on. A fucking uh, a, 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 a members of like uh, 98 degrees or whatever own properties like uh, boy bands own properties like what's it take yeah. boy bands made money yeah touche george yeah. santos not so not much, so much. Well, except for that gigantic lump sum that he used to run for congress Seven, right thousand. after he was connected to a ponzi scheme but definitely didn't come from the ponzi scheme because if there's one thing that you can remember about george santos is that everything's on the up and up it was like uh like i was driving here this morning and on uh npr of all places they're saying did you know that speech is free <laughs> People can say anything they want, whether it's true or not. <laughs> just, and then they just say the most fucked up shit. What an amazing day of all things considered that would be. And they're just like, do you know speech is free? And then it's just like an Ice Cube song from 92. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> here's, here's, here's a little grab- fuck yeah. the police. Yeah. Here's, here's a this gra- ain't payback, some mother... <laughs> Like, damn! <laughs> Here's a graphic explanation of uh, Optimus Prime giving a blowjob. <laughs> Nobody can stop us. <laughs> what? Oh, you really got him on that one. <laughs> that was the singing a parody that's to yourself of Justin. He, that's what it sounds like when he nuts. <laughs> 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 Not in my eyes! <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you're not an Autobot at all. You're a Decepticon. <laughs> like a dick That's septic. you! <laughs> like a... Five, five more minutes. <laughs> it's all pink in the dark. All right. Move on. <laughs> Come on, move it on. Move it on. Um, move it on. Justin, we're going to you on this one. Should have said gray. The, cl- <laughs> the, the claim, briefly married a woman on a cruise. Is that George Santos or someone from the oh, characters? Oh, shit. more Girls. This one is interesting because the modifier on a cruise. So it seems like some Paladino bullshit. I haven't seen every Gilmore Girls episode, but it seems like some Paladino bullshit to have one of the characters get married on a cruise briefly. Uh... What? Although Santos was married to a woman, we do not know whether or not it happened on a cruise. So I'm going to say Gilmore Girls. I was going to say Girls. Brian? If you're going to go with Gilmore Girls, I need a synopsis of the plot. All right. This is my, my, this is my, my, my chat GPT version of yes. a Gilmore Girls Okay, episode. there we go. Uh, prompt. Uh, why did a Gilmore girl get married on a cruise? Uh, so the Gilmore Lorelai girl. is... So it wouldn't be on the cruise because that'd be very unlike Gilmore Girls. It would be dealing with the ramifications of the cruise. And so Lorelai comes back from a cruise where she talks about how much fun she had. And then in the end of the first act, her boyfriend is like, wow, you sure were drunk. And, and then she is told, oh, by the way, you know that we got married on the cruise, and then they have to spend the rest of the episode deciding whether or not they're going to stay married. And there's a bunch of very rapid fire conversations that are Tarantino esque, but it's offensive and misogynistic to say that. But if you were to say it, they fucking write Tarantino dialogue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I, 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 I'm going to go George Santos. I'm going to go Santos. Why do you think Santos? Uh, because it's not what Justin said. <laughs> Not, okay, it was not interrogation, but that's just fine. All right, Justin said Gilmore. Brian said George. We were looking for Luke Danes, aka the girls. Uh, Gilmore girls. Uh, 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 so is a guy uh, on the Gilmore uh, girls? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of guys, mostly hunks. Yeah, Jeez. some real, some real fucking himbos. Mm-hmm. All right, had had all the had all the women. I mean, it was it was a female demo show. So it was all about like sweaters and dudes with kind eyes. I I, I went to a speech by George Santos and he was talking about his time being on the Gilmore. Look at these hunks. So, look at these '90s hunks. Yeah. Boy. Oh my God, man! These that fucking boy. look at look at look at the 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 ear length hair. Yeah. <laughs> these fuckers are, are okay, just. I'm, not, I'm just scrolling through pictures. Spinning of their wheels. <laughs> Bryce, <laughs> Bryce, is a, he, 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 Bryce is. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I saw. <laughs> I saw Luke and I was like, oh. Bryce, Bryce just couldn't keep that fucking pointer finger from scrolling with all these <laughs> hot boys. Okay. All right. <laughs> After three rounds, Brett, what's the score? I do believe the score, Brian, has one point. How, how close did I get on, on, on the synopsis to, to the show? If, if, if there's any... Uh... Uh, well, but no, yeah, you, 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 you don't have to look it up. I'm, I'm, asking, oh, I know. I'm asking the chat. Oh, you know? Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. please go. Uh, yeah. So Luke gets married to a woman on the cruise. He comes back from the cruise and he's, oh, he's, he's married. So it's yeah. not Laura. Right. It's not it's Laura. Someone else. Yeah. Yep. So in other words, very far away. All right. <laughs> I feel like I, I mean, I was trying to uh, stretch. I was trying to, to be something for everybody. You don't have to say that. My my art project was bad. Well, I mean, you could just say it was incorrect. Okay, but what if I really want to? I didn't. I didn't say any of of your stuff was bad. Well, I, I mean, just told you to keep doing it. <laughs> okay. 
And okay. Justin keep, has keep four. Keep on more. getting answers. He's right. got three. <laughs> three? Three. Okay. And only, we've only done three rounds, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. That's your update. This is my favorite episode. <laughs> Brian, we're going to start. Hi, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Still yeah. stuck. It's still there. It's great. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. The claim is their vehicle got hit by a deer. That's got to be a Gilmore Girls thing because it's boring. <laughs> Yo, man, you're gonna fucking, you're gonna catch a, catch a, a deer, a, catch a stray, a, a stray deer. Yeah, catch, from, catch from, it in from, my arm from, from from a blog writer in 2006. <laughs> this guy <laughs> says, yeah, that no, pro, proto Jezebel is gonna light you up. <laughs> Proto Jezebel. Someday we hope to be Jezebel. Yeah. Okay. Someday we hope to to really file this rage into something weaponizable. I mean, luckily I didn't say any of those things. Yeah. Sorry, Jezebel. Bon Bonnie did. What? Why are you throwing her under the bus? She's a girl. <laughs> All right. Okay. I also think it's a Gilmore Girls thing because it's a very New England plot. Do you hear that? A man. <laughs> what about a man? He's a man? Hey, Justin's a man, I, I think. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to make Justin look bad. Uh, it's all I got. I, wow. I got nothing. Weird strategy. Yeah. And then he, like he admitted. Life? No, on, on this show, in this bit, gotcha. where, where you're an expert I'm in glad, both of the that would be, categories. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is awkward. Yeah. Because, yeah. Do you want the two of us turn against Brett? Hey, Brett. What? What do you think the answer is, motherfucker? Uh, yeah. Mother Oops. Fucker. Oops. Sorry. No one cares. <laughs> oh. oh, no. He, has, he, no, he, he has beat the power us. of being he right. Beat us. He fucking wrong. beat us, man. We couldn't even okay. stand no. up to him. <laughs> Let's he go, gave, he let's gave go back one to the gave, two of us. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, better. <laughs> that was much better. better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because right. I felt bad. Yeah, no, it's definitely Gilmore Girls. All right, that one was. Definitely Gilmore Girls. Yay! Famously. Pretty much tied. Pretty much tied. Pretty much. Pretty much. No. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Here's one for you The Claim. Grandparents survived the Holocaust. Uh, everybody knows this one. We're going to start yeah, let's with all Brian say on it this. Together. Or no, I think we start with Justin on this one. It was George Santos. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so every, yeah. yeah, he said his parents or grandparents survived the Holocaust, and it turned out he wasn't even Jewish. Well, uh, I what mean, do you think his grandparents thought were the Holocaust? Technically, wouldn't he be right, though? What? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that was one of his arguments? Wait, for reals? He said, "Oh, I'm not Jewish. I'm Jewish." Yeah. No, yeah, oh, that, no, yeah, that was no, not. that was for real. Yeah, yeah. he's like, Jew-ish. "I never said I was Jewish. Jew-ish. I said I was Jewish." Oh God, Ish. that's awful. Ish. Anyway, yeah, that was George Santos. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Grandparents survived the Holocaust. I should stop repeating that because there's not a lot of comedy possibilities. <laughs> we should just move on. Moving on. They don't all need to be places where jokes happen. Right? There's a point Sometimes for- oh. you can just keep Sometimes on walking. Be a thinker. You can just be a thinker. Just walk on by. I'm playing a game called How Long Can I Drink? How Long Can Brian Drink If He Survived the Holocaust? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. There's was a couple a little, of nope, seconds. Nope, 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 nope. The thing with the 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 transformer blowjob thing is I didn't even it wasn't a spit take, it went up my nose. It almost yeah. came out my nose. That's a good one. Yeah. Which I guess would happen if you were giving a blowjob to a transformer. Yeah, well, especially with that face shield thing. Yeah. 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 Bryce? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a claim for you. We're gonna start with Brian on this one. Brian, the claim. Grew up in a renovated potting shed. That sounds like a plot from the Gilmore Girls. And hooray. Well, I mean, hooray. this is actually kind of a, a gap in my knowledge. Because, again, I don't remember every Gilmore Girls episode. But I also don't remember George Santos saying that he grew up in a renovated. What would it sound like if he did? Oh, this is loaded. I can't. Do an impression of no, one of our representatives from because 
Hello, it's me, George Santos. Well, hi. So he's I'm your he's space ghost. representative. <laughs> <laughs> gather round, gather round. Okay, it's not like, well, actually, my grandparents are in the audience. Everybody gather around my grandparents. They survived the Holocaust. Anyway, ever since I grew up in a pottery <laughs> shed. A pottery shed. Not a potting <laughs> shed. A pottery <laughs> shed. A shed that's there for pottery. Okay, hecklers, please... <laughs> <laughs> For a moment. <laughs> Do better! <laughs> Rushwood girls, I see you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> it's me, George Santos. I think it's a George Santos thing. You're going to say George Santos? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Justin, I what mean, do you think? If it was a Gilmore girl, which one would it be? Oh, I don't know. Probably Rory. <laughs> So far, you've only said Rory. Can you name two other Gilmore girls? No, I can name the other one, Lorelai. Lorelai's the mom, Rory's the daughter. And then there's the mean mom, and I can't remember what the mean mom's name is. George Santos. And then Melissa McCarthy was in it. Uh Yep. Mm -hmm. She was, I think she ran the diner. She was Sookie. Yeah. Yeah, she was the head chef. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got there. I was dangling it, and finally Dangling the McCarthy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Dangling the McCarthy sounds like a Bill and Ted line. Uh, <laughs> get, along with the F slur. <laughs> no, they did. I, 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 no, I remember. Both movies, yeah. We don't okay. need to. All right, all right. We don't all need right. to dwell on it. All right, so Brian said George Santos and the F slur. Justin! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Gilmore Girls. You're going to say it's Gilmore Girls. What makes you think that? Because it, 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 it feels like a Gilmore Girls plot. But also, I don't remember if it's just a George Santos lie I haven't heard. Oh, okay. So I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the, 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 the Splitsville answer here and say that it's a Gilmore Girls plot because it does sound like one, but I don't know. All right. Justin said Gilmore Girls. Brian said George Santos. We were looking for the Rory Gilmore. Oh. Hey! was the one I remembered. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. All right, Brett, what's the score? Is it six? To yeah. Three. To three. Six to yeah. three. There you yeah. go. Perfect. All right, it's our final round. This is our nine-point round. It's still luck. anybody's game. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, and Justin, because you're in the lead, you're going to go first on this. Yeah, one. hell yeah, I will. All right, the claim... Rented out Connecticut house to corn. <laughs> K-O-R-N. Oh, the, the band? Oh. 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 Rented oh. out Connecticut house uh, but, to but, but, corn. But, 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 your eyes on mine. Here we go. Oh, you don't want me to look at the chat. Uh, you think I need to look at the chat? I'm not saying what, what you, you need. You think I need to look at the chat? Tomo arigato, Mr. Elgato. God, this would be so much funnier if World's Greatest Cut in Season 3 was out already. I don't know what part you're talking about, but I would definitely watch that. There, there, there's, 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 there's a part where somebody is talking about a mentalist very slowly looking oh, at a thing got me, he's got not me. supposed to. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, we're starting with you. The claim is rented out Connecticut home to corn. I believe it's the Gilmore Girls. You're going to say the girls. Brian, the claim, they rented out Connecticut house to corn. A famous journalist once said, hi-ya. <laughs> and I agree. It's definitely George Santos. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. What? question is it gonna be it oh shit oh shit what question is gonna be it oh shit oh shit, oh, shit. What, what question, question is, is gonna, gonna be it take oh, it brett shit. oh shit what, what question, question is, is gonna, gonna be, be it? it and take it brett mm -mm. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, oh, oh shit. shit. What, what question, question is, is going to be it? Oh shit. Oh shit. shit. What question is going to be it? Well, oh, this is a story. <laughs> Go ahead, finish the verse. 
No. <laughs> I don't think that anything has ever begun or ended quicker. <laughs> Oh, here's a story. Oh. I know. It just because you went with the canonical, I have a lot of things to say phrase. Yeah. Now, here's a story. Since the earliest days of, of, of <laughs> the oral storytelling tradition, the phrase, now here's a story. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin said the Gilmore Girls. Brian said George Santos. Justin, I'm going to take your answer, and I'm going to drop it down our answer hole. Let's go. Oh, no. Justin, your answer is... Corey! That show was in the 90s. That was in the 90s. Corn was popular in the 90s. We were looking for Lorelai Trix Gilmore, the uh, uh, the mother of Emily, the grandmother. So the great-grandmother in the show uh, did that. All right, with us did a house out to corn. Yeah, was corn on that episode? No, I think it just came up. And they just comes... said that it was just a contemporary. Oh, that's the reference. worst of yeah. all worlds. Yeah, that's okay. And it was just a lot of people talking very yeah. fast, being hey, like, "Hey, keep it down, kids! What with the Beatles playing over there?" Anyway, no, I'm sure. Just referring to it. like I, I like again. This is just Chat GPT creating a, a scene that that may or may not have happened, but I would imagine that it's like. There was at least one character that was not a part of a conversation that is like, what, like corn on the cob or something like that. There, right. there was, I bet you there was some clever wordplay. I, I would like to believe the script was something like, um, <clears throat> the Indians called it maize. Everybody knows it's glazed and you can put butter on it and eat it. Roasted, uh, For go days. to the movie theater. I don't know, yeah, corn. Anyway, yeah, yeah, movie yeah, theater. Yeah. And no, I, I, you can I'm eat not, her when I'm not you have it in a bag. Just, and my job is to butter. laugh at you. Brett. What have we learned? Uh, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Really quickly. Yeah. Really quickly. Uh, thank you to B. Coford and all of the friends over at the DC Game Night uh, for sending that in. They sent in an idea, uh, and we ran with it. So thank you. If you've got an idea for a game uh, on the show, use uh, our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes. Wherever you're enjoying this, it's a great place to send in questions, ideas for games, lists, all sorts of stuff. By the way, our friend uh, Mike TV, as we record this, uh, his Kickstarter is almost done, just a few hours left, uh, and he's very close to his posters thing. So Google Mike TV yeah. posters. You'll see the Kickstarter. He's very. He, he was like two hundred dollars away. Oh, a go of right hours now. Ago. We we can we can knock that out now. If you if you ain't done it, it's well worth it. Go over there now and support our boy. Um, yeah, yeah. Brett, uh, what did we learn? We've learned that we are uh, safe from Chat GPT. Well, except for Brian. Uh, we've oh, learned it's that it's time night. for another Gilmore Girls rewatch. I think we night. should all get together and watch that. We should do a, one of them uh, 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 shows or a podcast where we just watch every episode of a thing and review it. Do, do we but it's watch Gilmore it live or do we talk no, about no, it no. afterwards? No, yeah, we, we watch it and then it's like, here's our episode for the Gilmore Boys. Uh, this one's about the one where they eat a salad or some shit. <laughs> And finally, and most importantly, uh, I don't know about the rest of you with your partners, but I would like to wish my wife, no. E.K. Weaver, a very, very happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! Brian, let's sing our famous Happy Valentine's Day song. Bryce, can you, you put the music down? Okay. Uh, uh, here, we here we go. Uh, uh, three, two, one. Oh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day is a very Valentine's fine way to divorce you. <laughs> a Valentine's, Valentine's Day is a very fine way to divorce, divorce you. I've secretly joined, joined the Great, great night, night Show, show just so I can, can tell you so. <laughs> I'm leaving you now. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Day. Just <laughs> kidding. Psych! I'm totally serious <laughs> about leaving you Dude, on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> All right, shine on you. Double psych! You <laughs> Still a great night. We love alive. you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, shine on you crazy diamonds. Me Double threat. <laughs> <laughs>
politics and Gilmore no, Girls. There's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>